Well, it's been an incredibly eventful week at Middlesbrough, um, with the Stuart Downing transfer saga dominating the headlines. Um, it started off disappointingly with Stuart handing in a transfer request. That was well touted in the media on Sunday, but he put in a formal transfer request on Monday, and as we know, that was rejected. Spurs have made two offers, both of which are below uh, Middlesbrough's expectations. I don't think Middlesbrough would sell to Spurs anyway, regardless of the offer, because they don't see that being a good move for Stewart, and they certainly don't want to sell a vitally important player to somebody who's in the relegation zone alongside them. Um, the, as it stands at the moment, uh, the, with his transfer request being rejected, and with Spurs not in the process of putting any new offers in, um, we've reached a little bit of an impasse, and obviously it'll be now down to the player himself to see how he reacts. We expect him to put in a, a, his usual 100% performance against Sunderland in the derby, and really there's a question of how the fans react to him. Hopefully the fans will get behind him, support him 100%, and show him that they really want him to be at the club. Um, his performances haven't been perhaps to the highest of standards this season, certainly compared with the second half of last season, but... Uh, all the same, those performances in the second half of last season showed just how important he is, and it's questionable whether Borough would have survived last season had Downing not been playing at the top of his game. So I think if Borough fans can get behind him and really show that they want him to stay at the club, certainly till the end of the season, and help Borough get out of their uh, current struggles, then that will be vital. Um, looking at Gary O'Neill, now as we know, Portsmouth offered £4.5 million for him yesterday. Middlesbrough have rejected that offer, and I think really the reason for that, although O'Neill hasn't been perhaps the player he was at Portsmouth since his move to Middlesbrough a year and a half ago, um, he's, uh, Gareth Southgate certainly feels that he wouldn't be able to get anybody in of a similar quality given the time available in the transfer window and also the reluctance of players to move to clubs in the bottom four of the table. And also the fact that if you've got a good player, the, you really wouldn't really want to be selling him to a relegation rival. So, all things considered, Borough decided to keep O'Neill. Some of the fans might have been surprised at that because, as I've said, he ha hasn't really set the world on fire since he's moved north. And to get your money back on a player like him um, would probably um, seem a sensible thing to do. But Borough have got to, keep the, got to really keep things going in terms of... Of, of keeping the squad together for the for the second half of the season. Now the the Alan Smith Meador deal that's been talked about this week, and we mentioned in the Gazette on Wednesday. Now that could uh, could be something in that Alan Smith doesn't seem to want to leave Newcastle, but it's possible that Middlesbrough will try and move Meador on in the transfer window if the right deal is available. He hasn't really set the world on fire since he came to Middlesbrough. He's been injured just as much as he's been available. And although he scored goals at the start of the season, there doesn't seem to be a particularly healthy working relationship between the player and the club at the moment. And so I think all things considered, they'll probably want to do some sort of transfer business with Mido if it becomes possible. Ben Watson from Crystal Palace has been linked with the club this week. And he's the kind of workman-like 100%er that Southgate would like to bring into the club. He's only got six months left on his contract, so you wouldn't be talking about a huge, huge amount of money. But Palace are doing quite well in the Championship, and they certainly wouldn't want to see him leave. So they'll try and push it as much as they can in terms of getting as much money as possible out of Middlesbrough, who we know don't really have any cash to spend unless they let somebody go and bring in some spending money in that way. Um, of course, it's the derby, and it's almost been overshadowed by all the transfer talk and speculation this week, but it's such a massive, massive game for Middlesbrough that really can't afford to do anything other than win the match. Even a draw, given the fact that Borough haven't won now in eight, really wouldn't be good enough against a team that are down there in the, in the basement zone with them. Um, Borough need to really rally, and perhaps this week's travails will really inspire them against the Sunderland team who also have dipped a little bit since Ricky Sprager seemed to initially boost them following Roy Keane's surprise departure. All to play for tomorrow, let's hope there's a bumper crowd in, there normally is a good atmosphere for a derby match, but as I say it's absolutely crucial that Middlesbrough play well and win the game. Jeremy Olivier is out for eight weeks, he'll be missing, but otherwise Southgate will probably stick with the, the players who did well against Barrow, he might just keep Downing in the centre which he seems to have done over the last couple of games. And we may see, hopefully, some more goals from Alves, whose goals in the second half of the season, if he can hit his stride, will be crucial to keeping Borough in the Premier League. So, a much needed three points tomorrow, and um, hopefully the, the fans will get behind Stewart, and we'll go into 2009 with the first Premier League win of the year.